I think it's safe to say that if you've played one Tokyo Extreme Racer game, you've played them all, but that doesn't mean that they aren't all fun to play. This is Tokyo Extreme Racer Advance on the Game Boy Advance, a 2004 release published by Crave. Fans of the series should know the drill, pull up behind somebody, antagonize them, and race. While the Game Boy Advance is not known as the game console of choice for awesome racing games, I would say that Tokyo Extreme Racer Advance is a nice way to pass the time if you're already a fan of the Tokyo Extreme Racer series and happen to be traveling. Hooray, I won a race, and I've earned money that I can spend on giant wings for my fake Japanese road missile. That's Tokyo Extreme Racer. This isn't a terribly good-looking game, but it is still Tokyo Extreme Racer, and it's far more portable than your Sega Dreamcast version, which requires a TV to play. Those are such a pain in the ass on airplanes. You start off with a cheap car, and then race gang members and earn money that you slowly invest into your cheap car and then eventually buy better cars and invest money in them by, by putting on giant mufflers and wings and suspension and transmission and stuff and eventually buy really fast cars like the ones that I'm driving here. But they, they all do kind of look exactly the same in this game. Even though this version of Tokyo Extreme Racer falls far behind its big brothers visually, you do get a lot of roads to drive on. Two different track versions of Tokyo, London, and Los Angeles. Even though they all kind of look the same. There's your basic Tokyo Extreme Racer career mode, where you just eliminate all the gang members and turn your car into a super weapon. And there's also time trials, where you can just race on the roads for the best time. I actually like this game, even though a lot of the Game Boy Advance racing games looked dated the day they were released. It plays as well as you would expect it to play. In fact, it plays like a Tokyo Extreme Racer game. The driving feels like an arcade-style driving game, which is how the other games drive. And the improvements that you make to your car are noticeable and necessary for winning races. Even if all of the cars look like giant shoeboxes. Clearly a new front bumper is what I need to win races. This is what I like about this series. It's just a nice, relaxing way to pass the time while enjoying an arcade-style racing game. And while I would say that Tokyo Extreme Racer Advance is rough around the edges, it gets the job done and retains the spirit of the series, and makes for a fun arcade-style racing game on the go. go. We've been watching the game being played on the Game Boy Player for the GameCube during this review, which blows the game up onto a larger screen and shows more imperfections. It's actually a better looking game on the smaller Game Boy Advance screen. I would say this one plays fairly well on either version. It's a nice racing game for the Game Boy Advance. Since the races are relatively short and contained, you can save frequently. This makes for a good driving game on the go. Tokyo Extreme Racer Advance can be found easily these days. It's not a very expensive game to pick up for your collection. And I have to thank our good friend Mohammed in Qatar for donating this game to the show along with a bunch of other driving games. I definitely dig all of the Tokyo Extreme Racer that I can get. It's Tokyo Extreme Racer Advance for the Game Boy Advance.